Look, that's the sword maker. He's pissed because of the sword! <laughs> Run, Tanshiro! <laughs> You can check out my Patreon for other exclusive reactions like Vinland Saga or Death Note, early access, full-length reactions and movie reactions. Link is in the description. We were back with Demon Slayer. Last episode was all about rehabilitation, training, getting these muscles back, getting the reflexes back, getting the body back on track after all of this stuff that went down. Zenitsu and Inosuke gave up in the end. They were frustrated because they just couldn't beat Kana or Shinobu's student. She was too good. It turns out she uses the breathing technique 24-7 and all the Hashiras do that. So Tanjiro is on it, he stayed, he's persistent, he's training, he wants to achieve that even while sleeping, you know, 24-7 breathing technique. He had a talk with Shinobu, it turns out she's angry all the time basically, or at least she was angry in that moment because the scent of anger was on her and she was pretty shocked by that because she has this perfect poker face, this soft voice, nobody really knows how she feels. She's always in the same mood, you know, one wavelength and Tanjiro sniffed it out, literally. Turns out she has a sad backstory as well. Her sister was killed, so yeah, and her sister believed that you could be friends with demons and seeing Tanjiro with Nezuko obviously probably gave her hope that that dream is actually achievable and she kind of trusted Tanjiro with it to, you know, prove that her sister was right and um, be friends with demons and create peace between humans and uh, demons yeah it really gave more layers to shinobu's character i really enjoyed that and yeah i like her a lot now let's jump into this next episode as always like subscribe leave a comment check out my patreon check out my discord links are down below and let's go oh damn that's commitment <laughs> They're a little too happy about this one, huh? Can you beat me up <laughs> when I stop using it? <laughs> Bink! <laughs> hey, I respect that, bro. Look at them. They're like, hey, we try to sleep over here. What's this kinky shit going on next to us? <laughs> this is great. Yup. We yeah, working out is belated gratification. You see results later. Oh, look at that. Yes, he's sweating a little bit. What's up? I don't think it's gonna be this one. Nope. Oh, that was close. Did he touch her? Almost. Fingertips, maybe? A little bit? Damn. And that's after how long training? Not that long. <laughs> What's up? Where did you come from? They're gonna be feeling bad that they quit because they see Tanjiro working this hard. And every time you see somebody working this hard and you don't do it yourself, you kind of feel bad. You can't help it. Same in real life. Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit. Mm -hmm. Starting to feel a little bad about yourself, huh? See? Uh -huh. That's true, but it comes with so many rewards. Tanjiro,に教えてもらっても、うまく覚えられないんだよ。うん。少しはお前も頑張っているくらい言ってくれてもいいと思うんだけど。Well, <sighs> it's different from person to person. Some people pick things up quicker, which Tanjiro, I think, is one of them. He he's got some natural talent, and some people need to work a lot harder to even get close to something that they pick up a lot faster. So it can be discouraging to, for example, Tsunetsu to have to put in like triple the effort to reach something that Tanjiro did quicker. You know, Tanjiro has to work hard as well. He's not like a prodigy, prodigy. I'd say at least, you know, he has to put in the work, but he picks it up decently quick. I feel like so it can be discouraging, but use it in a different way. Use it as fuel to. Um, keep you going you know that that negative energy transform it and don't discourage in yourself accept who you are if you don't work hard on it it's just gonna make you feel worse like if you give up it's not gonna fix things it's gonna make them worse at the end of the day if you can tell yourself i've given it everything i've got 
I've worked hard, then you will feel satisfaction. You, even if, let's say, you didn't reach what you wanted to reach, sometimes goals fall flat. It's the reality of the world. But if you didn't give everything you have, you're going to feel shitty about it. But if you know you gave it all you had, you're going to be able to get over it a little easier because you know you tried your best. End of the philosophy um, lesson. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> or psychology, whatever. <laughs> And surround yourself with people that work hard because it's going to motivate you and not allow you to slack off like these two. See, it's gonna want you to keep working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get discouraged. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's not easy. Oh. A beginner skill? Damn. How can you say no now? Uh -huh. Yeah, look. <laughs> She's playing him. He's like, okay. Okay. I'll work hard, Shinobu. Whatever you say, exactly. <laughs> oh, hey, yo! <laughs> it's cool. She's using both their character traits against them in a positive way. It's Initsu, you know, loving females, being this horny bastard, <laughs> and Inosuke's pride, kinda, you know, her telling him, "You, why shouldn't you do it? I thought you're, you know, you're strong." Blah blah blah. You know, that's cool. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, everybody gets motivated differently and a good teacher finds the different ways to motivate their students. She's the same as Shinobu, like poker face, hard to read, doesn't talk much. Shinobu talks a lot more than her, actually. Oh. What are you deciding? Hmm. Oh, damn, well, this looks like a sad scene. Oh, that's her, I'm assuming. Damn, listed up everything. Shit. She snapped. That's why she's like this. Wow, that's so sad, bro. She lost it all. Basically, all the emotion and got cold inside. Closed herself off. So she was a slave? Damn. Uh... Oh, that's Shinobu's sister, the one that died. Interesting, because Shinobu had an angry look in her face that time. She didn't have that poker face yet. Damn, empty eyes. Same eyes as her, kind of. And Shinobu, you know. Yeah, don't... Exactly, don't touch my sis! Fuck out of here! They're gonna buy her. <laughs> I, I, I thought she was gonna take his head. <laughs> Is this enough? Kills him. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> don't let this man get any money for that. Yeah, she looks like the third sister, basically. Look at that man. Poor child. She doesn't even know how to react to, like, compassion and love. <laughs> wow, that's so sad. She can't function anymore. <laughs> What's the alternative? Bring her back? You don't want to do that. Ah, that helps her to cope with the situation. Mm. It was cool seeing Shinobu different as well before um, she became that way. You know, always angry but with a poker face. She's still, you know, nice and stuff. You know, seems joyful. But yeah, we know what's on the inside because of Tanjiro's um, sense of smell. It was cool seeing her, how different she was and how life can change you. She falling in love with Tanjiro? Because she said, you know, once you fall in love. 
Damn, Inosuke. That core strength, though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know who the hell he's talking about. <laughs> but that's the sword maker. He's pissed because of the sword! <laughs> Run, Tanjiro! <laughs> right? Yeah! <laughs> he's passionate about his work. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's his passion, that's his work, that's his thing. He probably is scared to get a bad rep as well with the demon slayers, you know? It's shit, you know, the town ta starts talking, uh, you know, hey, his sword snapped, you know, maybe somebody else should start making swords, uh, you know? Maybe, huh? It's a business after all, probably. Yep, that's what makes his work so great, though. Mm. Inosuke got new ones. Ooh, damn, okay. Bless this guy in the back, bro. Mm, so it's uncommon to be a dual wheeler, maybe? Can I hit the sword? Because he wants. I, uh... <laughs> I'll kill you, you miserable brat. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I like this sword makers, bro. He was supposed to be the calm one of them too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say his other swords look a little cooler because of that actually. Oi. Oh yeah, you won't be sweating today. Where are you going? Damn, he's feeling yeah, he's feeling the results. No better feeling than that. What's up? Nice. Yeah. Gimme that. Gimme gimme. Oh. I guess, yeah. It's even more impressive, kinda. Because it's fa a faster motion to just splash her, right? Exactly, it motivates you. Surround yourself with people like that. They'll want you to work harder, man. That's right, he broke his jaw. Mm -hmm. Combat experience is important as well. It's the dance his father taught him. Oh, okay. Probably, that's right. If somebody knows him. Watch him die and never come back. <laughs> the squad. Let's go. I'm wondering, is he gonna leave Nezuko here? They're a good team, though. Huh? Oh yeah, I remember now. Um, I in the moment on episode nineteen, I didn't realize she said her attack, and that was the first time she talked. In the moment, I just kind of didn't catch it, but somebody commented it. So did she just talk? But how? She has the muscle. Like with her mind, kind of something like that, or he imagined it. But she did talk. She did say her attack. That kind of hit it well with all the action that was going on. The train of death. What's happening here? The Demon Express. Oh shit! Ooh, disgusting. Okay. Um, probably a teaser to the next mission. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're switched on 24/7. It's crazy. Mm, okay, interesting. Let's go, they're fired up. Okay, so he's probably gonna leave her because he told her he's heading out. Okay. I guess it's good because he doesn't have to worry about Nezuko if he leaves her there, but also she, you know, came in clutch that last time as well. So yeah, it's a 50-50 thing, but yeah. 
whatever. Okay, we got a little backstory of Kanao this episode, a really sad one, like most of them are. She was a slave, she was beaten, and then suddenly she just snapped. You saw the thread snap as well. They like depicting things with the thread. The same um, went for Ryu, I think. They showed it that way as well. You have Tanjiro who sees threads when he sees an opening. So yeah, she snapped and just completely is not an emotional mess, but just there's nothing she's like empty she wouldn't even eat or do things if you don't explicitly tell her uh, yeah that's a really really sad thing because she also can not experience the positive emotions in that state which yeah it's it's a one-way street if you don't experience anything it's not just the negative stuff that stays away it's uh, unfortunately the positive as well i like the idea with the coin it seems like shinobu's sister was really like wise and to give her that coin because it seems simple but it gives her kind of an out a way to um, get over that hurdle of making decisions just um yeah a simple thing like that a simple task to have it it, it it goes a long way she also mentioned love you know if you fall in love with a boy and then after that there was a scene of her looking at tanjiro so uh, maybe there's a little you know romance gonna happen i don't think they're gonna go into romance really in this show at least not deep at all but yeah i don't know maybe they were teasing it i like how tanjiro motivated sinitsu and inosuke just by working hard if you have friends and you're the hardest worker of your friend group you don't even have to really tell them to work hard um if they hang around you a lot they will um, want to work hard and the same goes like i said if you were the friend who maybe doesn't work that hard like for example i used to slack off a lot like not do the things i'm supposed to do but if you have friends around you that like that are always busy and you ask them hey you want to grab a drink you want to do this blah blah blah, and they're like nah i gotta do my work i gotta do this nah I, i'm i'm going to the gym you know that feeling when you like they say like oh i'm hitting the gym or nah i can't i got this to do this to do it kind of feels a little you're like if you're not happy with yourself if you're also a hard worker it doesn't matter but when i wasn't like the hardest worker i was kind of like mm. it, it felt a little sting here like i felt a little bit like mm. and it's almost like a negative feeling which it shouldn't be and then uh, i learned to kind of let that motivate me and not like piss me off like oh why are you going to the gym like just chill for a second which it could be a reaction a natural reaction if you know in your heart that you're not working as hard as you could then people that work hard kind of put you off at first because you're upset at yourself and um, you kind of realize that with time as you get a little older i'm not old but you realize things a little bit and then uh, if you do some soul searching so i like that that was kind of implemented because it's important to me as well um i've been lazy a lot in my life so yeah i guess it kind of hit home with me to see them be motivated by a hard worker uh, yeah it worked they're working really hard then shinobu kind of swooped in as well and um, gave them their uh, individual motivation <laughs> regarding their character traits which is cool as well there's a difference between fire and flame breathing which is an important detail so that dance has nothing to do with what the flame hashira does so i'm waiting for some answers on that the sword stuff was funny as hell that that cracked me up <laughs> both of them and then especially in the end the calm person you know because seemed like the calm one. Oh, you know it's okay he's just really passionate he's the best at what he does and then he just snaps at well you miserable brat <laughs> he just let loose oh, that was hilarious but you know i guess it's um it's inosuke's signature on the swords i guess but i do understand that for a craftsman that has to be like a horrible thing to see somebody smash rocks and then break um your your swords like that that has to be like just somebody ripping out your heart because yeah it's a it's a it's art it's a craftsmanship it's a lot of hard work they put into that but whatever it was funny as hell they're all rehabilitated they got some training in and yeah they're on to the next mission we got a little teaser of the train and the freaking four-eyed or three-eyed demon so i'm assuming that's where they're gonna be heading next i can't wait for more i think next episode could be the last one already of season one we're gonna then do um season two episode one then the movie which i'm really excited for i'm really excited for the movie and then jump back in with season two episode eight so yeah that's the plan for the future and yeah see you guys next